Today we will be talking about top Python vector databases. When we talk about Python vector databases, they necessarily are not made completely in Python. Most of these vector databases are built by highly performing systems built in C++, Rust, and so on. When we refer to Python vector databases, we're referring to those libraries supported, uh, which are natively supported in Python. So you can code in Python on vector databases. And when we when we talk about vector databases, just a quick summary, I will have a different video for that. And I think uh, it's already available. <clears throat> vector databases help with vector indexing storage, including numerical vectors like embeddings. Uh, it helps with search, vector search. It helps with uh, support for machine learning models, which are usually recommended systems, encoding, classifier, etc., etc. And uh, th those are, you know, purpose-built databases. So let's talk about these top purpose-built databases. And there are five of them in my list. Number one is face i think that's how it's pronounced uh database a vector database from uh, facebook more like a library i should say not really a full-fledged database but face is extremely powerful milvus pathway vv8 and qdrent so there are the top five vector python vector uh, databases because all of them support python and uh, you can do things like indexing storage vector search with these five databases. <clears throat> so, uh, phase, let's go with that first, which is a Facebook supported database or Facebook, Facebook created or meta, meta created database. Uh, since it's purpose built for similarity search and indexing, it's extremely fast. Those are the advantages or strengths phase has. Similarity search and indexing, it's great for large billion scale data sets. It's optimized for GPUs, like I said, well supported by its parent company the things which do not work really well is it's really good for similarity search and pretty much you know things around that but mostly intended for internal use there and not much native support at least i didn't see any native support for other ml libraries you could uh, put some of that in python but it's not meant for those so that's phase let's go to the next one so but this is uh before i go to the next one let's start labeling this uh, number one. That's the reason why I call it number one. It's very fast. Uh, Milvus is a good balance, unlike Face. It has both uh, more functionality than Face. It does handle large uh, data sets well. It has a pretty active developer community uh, outside the internal community. In Facebook, it's mostly Facebook employees, and here there's some more outside community. And then there is enterprise support. <clears throat> Definitely not as fast as face when we talk about weaknesses or strengths, or sorry, weaknesses or disadvantages. Um, when you consider similarity search is not as fast as phase. It's maturing, uh, limited machine learning capabilities definitely requires more manual tuning. So uh, not very easy to get started, but uh, you know, not, not every, everybody's perfect out there. Um, Pathway, this is one interesting platform. And I like it because they consider this as one of the many other systems you need in place. So it's really thought through as a pipeline. Think of it as <clears throat> a data pipeline. So you can have documents, you can have a document pipeline, let's say, and you can read directly from storage. Um, so it's a source, you get a vector, index and then you can create your apps on top of it so very very fast very fast vector index good thing is it's not really a vector database so it's really a vector index so you can uh, as you need as your uh, enterprise needs evolve you might need some vector indexing and some let's say database uh, you know querying and transformation before it becomes an index <clears throat> before it becomes an embedding very powerful, friendly APIs uh, for search indexing and data. Uh, and uh, as, like I said, it supports enterprise context. And uh, this is the only platform which supports both 
streaming and batch so you can have upstream coming from uh, Kafka you can have batch your normal batch jobs and you can have LLM type apps built uh, still new so very little adoption uh, I see some indexing customization. It's not exposed, but maybe later. Uh, uh, the thinking behind this uh, for an enterprise is just uh, extraordinary. VV8, another vector database. Uh, good news is it has flexible data schema based on objects and vectors. It has uh, built-in machine learning capabilities. And... Um, Good source, open source, and cloud managed options are available. Uh, definitely good for knowledge graph applications. Uh, the weaknesses, let me just delete this as I go through this. Uh, the weaknesses are small community and adoption level. It's definitely not as performant as Phase or Milvis. It's still building out some key enterprise features, so not as uh, mature as Pathway on that side. I just realized Pathway also has some graph application support. Uh, not ideal for pure similarity search application. So not as good as, I mean, it's not meant for high volume similarity search. Next one. And the last one, I believe. <clears throat> so it's number five. Okay. Definitely fast for similarity search. Very good scalability across data sets and hardware. Open source with a strong community uh, and good support for enterprise. It has flexible de deployment options. Qdrent. Sorry if I did not mention the company's name before. Qdrent. It's an open source platform. Q-D-R-A-N-T. Small adoption on the community side. Uh, uh, not as full featured as some databases, uh, which we've discussed before. Uh, again, limited machine learning support on the native native side of the platform. It's mostly focused on search, so it's not really a full database, uh, which is <clears throat> supporting multiple use cases, right? So definitely a fast search engine on for vectors. Okay, so let's uh, look at our summary slide where I would recommend uh, out of these five, these top five vector databases, my recommendations are the following. If you have a large similarity search requirement with billions of records at the scale of Facebook or even lesser, maybe half the scale of Facebook, but you're a large company and you want to do similarity search, go for phase. Purpose built for that, it's amazing. If you want flexibility in terms of models you want to support and search and other use cases, let's assume recommendation systems and or uh, something else, or you know, uh, uh, different types of encoding, classifiers, etc. I think VV8 wins that for flexibility. But if you're an enterprise, if you deal with data pipelines coming from streaming data, batch, and you also want to do, let's assume, some kind of joining across these systems, <clears throat> let's say joining your document data, which has order information and uh, which is unstructured and you have structured data and you want to do recommendations across it across that and a database then if you're dealing with data pipelines which is what typical enterprises deal with source data transform massive transformation recommendations and then you want to output it pathway is your pathway is very good for that those kind of systems okay so those are the top three uh, within my top five i guess my recommendations and uh I will see you later. Thank you.